New at 10, a charter school in St. Paul attracts students with un unique needs from around Minnesota and all across the country. Their safety plan works so well, the hope is other schools will follow it. Here's Aaron Hassanzada. From the walls. The students use it as a guide as they walk. To the layout. Where we have furniture, we typically have carpet. So they know, okay, if I'm walking on a hard surface, I shouldn't have anything mm -hmm. in front of me. Every inch of Metro Deaf School was carefully thought out. We had a deaf architect working alongside hearing architects. There is no other school like Metro Deaf School. We have families that move here from other states. I think we're a gem. And that attention to detail extends to the school's safety plan. And there's always that thought in the back of our heads as what if somebody does enter the school wanting to hurt people. So when we moved to this building, we wanted to take that opportunity to design our own system. Here's part of that system. Say there's a tornado. First, a white light flashes, alerting students to look at the nearest TV. Each emergency is color coded. That color flashes on ceiling lights everywhere from the bathroom to the storage closets. A valuable system not just for deaf students, but students who are still learning English or young students who can't read yet. The fire department, when they are here, they're always amazed at how fast we get out of this building. It's always under two minutes. Throughout the hallways, you'll also see these lockdown buttons. So any Anyone can lift this up, push the button if they see something concerning, and when they do, the entire school goes into lockdown. When we came to this building, it was basically a shell. Even things like clear glass, so office staff can see people coming into the building, were designed with the help of the Minnesota School Safety Center, though they'll tell you... You learned from them. Very much. Some of the very you know technical features are parts and pieces that we were able to bring now out to schools throughout the state of Minnesota to help improve their own safety features within their buildings. Little details that make a big difference as another school year approaches. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. The School Safety Center says while it realizes not all Minnesota schools have that kind of tech, the staff should make detailed plans to make sure that students with a variety of needs are aware of emergencies.